morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Super Bad Vlogs. I am Spavos, your European tour guide, I suppose. I don't know. Today, we're in Cartagena, a beautiful place. Been here once before. We did a tour before. It was a nice tour. But this time, we're going to go rogue. We're going to go explore all by ourselves because, well, the, the quayside is just here. The town is just... Put these glasses back on. Quayside is just here. The town is just there. And we already know our way around, so... I want to go to this maritime museum. They had the submarine inside of it. I want to go see. I don't know how much it costs to get in, so we might not go there. But otherwise, there's a town to explore. They've got a geek shop that I'd like to go poke around in. And yeah, and maybe get some ice cream. <laughs> Last time we were here, they had loads, I say loads, like four or five millionaire yachts, or billionaire yachts. Like, it'd be interesting to see what's here today. Also, I just noticed you can see the ruins in some sort of like fort or something on the hill. Let me show you. All the way over there. Do you see? Da -da -da -da. There you go. Forts. Well, there you go. That's that. Let's go for a walk. just like paradise here the weather is absolutely divine and just I love being by the water look at all these amazing ships here also these super rich well billionaire ships they're here still there's one I'm about to show you if I remember rightly it's owned by a Russian guy and it has not only bulletproof windows but I think it has rocket proof windows too kind of a, a big deal but it looks absolutely disgusting check this out you'll be happy to hear it's for sale I can't remember how much. I might try Googling it real quickly, but those masts are horrible. I got no real complaint about the hull. It's quite sleek, but I don't think it should be a sailing ship. It should just be a powered, I don't know, yacht. I don't know. It's weird. I found Burger King again. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's beautiful. This guy's been sent to the naughty corner. No holiday for you. No, no, no. <laughs> so there's the museum we was going to go visit. It's closed. Boo hoo. It's a Monday. What sort of place isn't open on a Monday? Guess we're going to do something else. Here's the bit of the museum that I saw previously that has a submarine inside of it. I'm looking for a window, so forgive the terrible quality. I'm trying to block the sun out. Yeah, you can see. There's a submarine, everybody. <laughs> lovely people. He's probably thinking stupid tourists put fingerprints on my lovely windows. <laughs> something called a city store and they sell electronics such as a parrot mini drone for 129 euros it wasn't that good <laughs> <laughs> I got an ice cream already. <laughs> it's a lovely day for it. It's got to be done. I got mint and banana. Nom nom nom. Oh wow. There's some ruins up here. I fancy that. We found some ruins. <laughs> but I thought I'd seen it all. Oh, this is freaking beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. about Cartagena is there's this loads of Roman ruins buried underneath this city there's they have this amazing amphitheater that you can go and tour and we've just now for the first time seen this new place over the side here called the the Barrio Dada something Romans it's just loads of ruins it's amazing I, I want to go down and have a look but we ain't got time but this bit we're climbing now never climbed up here before and this is there's so much to see and do it's amazing I 
got my flippy floppies on again. So basically, back in 1912, people were living amongst all these ruins, this kind of for people that either were impoverished or was, uh, ladies of the night, which you might say, I guess. It was just uh, trying to get by, I guess. Even here, you've got ruins of just old structures. This place is just riddled of history. was once a mill. As you can imagine, a windmill, big old spinny thing, turns a thing, grinds a millstone, and makes flour or whatever. Okay, so that thing is the Exelia delle Catrides, and then supposedly around there was a Roman forum. Up here we got Conception Castle, up there. And then just over here you got the Roman theater. Over there is the Roman district. Fantastic panoramic spot. It's amazing. So that right there is the remains of a Roman temple. So that's inside what the temple would have been. You've got a little plunge bath, a bit there. You've got an altar for the sacrifices. Offering to the goddess, that's what it is. An offering to the goddess. You've got your beds. And this is what it would have looked like if it was still around. Would have had plaster on it on top of the bricks, yeah. But that's what it is today. So that column there is original. <laughs> right, well we're coming towards the end of our kind of excursion as it were, walking around the town. It's been amazing, the ice cream was amazing. Discovering those ruins, insanely awesome. Now we're heading back toward the ship. I don't know if we're going to board right away. I kind of fancy just kind of sitting down by the water's edge and just chilling for a bit without this camera. Oh, look at this, look at this, hang on. So how could I forget, today is Ventura's birthday. There's a party on board, half past four, I believe the party kicks off, we have the cake and everything, it's gonna be amazing. I've never been on board a ship for its birthday, so I'm interested to see what they're gonna do exactly. But hey, what a perfect place for a birthday, in paradise. <laughs>